tells her, if you only knew the gift that God has for you. If you only knew the gift that God has for you. If you only knew. If you're perishing, he has forgiveness. The Bible says the gift of God is everlasting life. It's the hope of eternity forever with him. Be saved. Come to repentance. Come clean. Start over with God. Be baptized in water. And then as the fall of this world has settled in upon you, let the Spirit of the Lord settle upon you and make you new. Um, last Sunday, we had a young man baptized in water. Not just that, he came up out of the water and the Holy Spirit just settled on him and we barely got him out of the water. I thought Pastor Paul was going to die being rescued. What's that all about, preachers? That real? Does God do that? Sure, yes. He does that. Where's the Bible? Yes. If you don't believe in that, you have to tear out the whole book of Acts. Just tear it out. <laughs> of course, He does. What is Acts? Acts is the Acts of the Holy Spirit. And guess what? He's still acting. Yeah. He's still moving. He's still acting up in a good way. How does He act up? He takes our stuff. He changes us and transforms us so that we can now give our lives to Him. God wants your stuff so you can give Him your life. When you give God your stuff, for the sinner it's your sin, for the prodigal it's your wandering away, whatever you wandered away, for the broken person it's your brokenness, for the person who's hurting, you've been abused, you've been walked out on, you've been abandoned, you're insecure, you have a lack of assurance because people have let you down, it's all of your insecurity, it's all of your brokenness, for those who are timid, it's your timidness, for those of you who do not believe in yourself, God, Jesus looks at the woman, he said, if you knew the gift of God that I had asked for you, and if you knew who it was that's talking to you, if you knew who I was, and today I want you to know if you only knew who I, who I am, you know who he is? He is the great I am. He's everything that you need. He says, I am your healing. I am your deliverance. I am your present. I am your past. I am your future. I am your hope. I am your
So you know what he says? Better than tapping into your kids, you can tap into me. Because yes. even the youth will grow weary, but when you tap into me, how do we do that? He said, they that wait upon the Lord. Right. talked earlier, Acts chapter 2, the settling of the fog in this world that tries to settle in on us. As I look across this congregation, there are those of you that have settled on you. There's fog just weighing down on you. But he said, those that wait upon the Lord, that's what they were doing. They were waiting on him. He said, those that wait upon the Lord will receive new strength. Everybody say new strength. New strength. You see, I'm late from yesterday's strength, but I need new strength today. Yes. And tomorrow I'm going to need new strength. What does that mean? Every day I need to wait upon the Lord so that he does what? Settle upon me. Break the fog and the lies and the seeds of the enemy off of me. Take my stuff today. Take my stuff tomorrow. Take my stuff every day. I want to give it up to you yes. so that you can settle it upon me and give me new strength. That I'll run and not grow weary. That I'll fly like an eagle that's high up in the air to where the wind currents are so strong that all he has to do is spread his wings and just rest in the wind of God. I just want to fly and rest in the wind of God, relax, and not try to do it myself because the burdens that are weighing on my shoulder are bigger than I am. But when I get up there with Jesus, he changes my perspective because you know what he does? When I fly high with him, he whispers a word to me and one word from